Beasley, Smack, Chico, URL. This is not over. This situation with nothing but Sports Central and ARP is not over. I can't let it be over like this, bro. I see you guys sending out your compromised media squad to try and make this situation go away. So because of that, I got to keep talking about it. So let's talk about it. Nope, nope, nope. Don't you even think about it, Beasley. Don't you even think about it. This situation is not over, dog. This situation isn't over, bruh. About three days ago, ARP, four, maybe four days ago, not exactly sure. Uh, it says here about four days ago. ARP dropped a bomb on the battle rap community, bruh. ARP dropped a bomb, bruh, on the battle rap community. Do you know what he said? Y'all know what ARP said, bruh? Y'all know what ARP put out into the universe, bruh, and let us know? He exposed Beasley, bruh. He let us know that he confirmed with NBS Central, a smaller battle rap platform. He confirmed with these guys that Beasley called nothing but sports central put in a call he said hey yo i noticed you've been covering <clears throat> i noticed you've been covering rbe can you cover us more we'll pay you two thousand dollars to come over to the world's most respected battle rap league url he made the call beasley made a call to nothing but sports central because nothing but Sports Central was doing an awful lot of promotion for RBE. On top of that, though, they have a lot of, and they produce quality promotion. So a lot of the Battle Rap fans are starting to see them and gravitate towards these posts and these announcements and things. So people are seeing them. People including URL. URL is noticing that this smaller platform, all right, is covering RBE a little bit too much. A little bit too much. So Beasley puts the call in. Yo, you notice you've been covering them. Can you cover us? We'll pay you $2,000 a month. Blah, blah, blah. ARP puts this out on Front Street, fam. The battle rap community goes crazy. Absolutely nuts, bruh. A few short days later, KO from Nothing But Sports Central does an interview on a YouTube channel called Proper Context Media. This is the first time that KO from NBS Central speaks on the situation. It's the first time. Not making any posts on it, not uploading any videos on it, not going to any bigger platforms or any bigger bloggers to talk about it. Nope. Nope. It's the first time talking about it. After this interview, right, a lot of rumors and a lot of word and a lot of posts and a lot of cleanup started to happen. I noticed that bloggers are now talking about the fact that they don't know whether or not to believe that this actually happened, right? As if to say that ARP is some kind of liar. I think that's hilarious. I don't know ARP to be a, a liar. You know what I'm saying? So people are wondering whether or not this is true. People are wondering whether or not this guy from NBS is capping or he's lying or blah, blah, blah. All these things start to come. So now we're in, a, we're in a, the status of the situation is pretty much, I see an awful lot of people that don't believe this to be true. I see an awful lot of people that simply don't believe this to be true. And again, one of the reasons being because of the interview that KO from NBS did with Proper Context Media, the way that that interview was conducted, which then other bloggers and other people would then pick up and start to spew narratives around the interview. People will start to say now, oh, he was capping, he's just clout chasing, he's just being a groupie, there's no proof, and blah, blah, blah. Just a whole bunch of mess started happening after the interview, bro. But people need to keep a couple of things in mind, right? As of right now. Because as of right now, we're currently still in a status of situation where 
A lot of us don't know whether or not this is true because it's not like NBS, nothing but Sports Central is producing receipts. It's not like he's out here putting the news out on Front Street. So I understand why some people might have or might not know whether or not this is true or might not know whether or not to believe the situation and blah, blah, blah. I kind of get it. But there's a couple of things that we got to keep in mind as it pertains to the situation. Here's one thing that I think people should understand in order to know whether or not something like this is true, right? Here's one point. NBS Central is an up and coming battle rap platform. We all blog, right? And create content around primarily the URL. The URL is the bread and butter for a lot of bloggers and media, period. Yes, a lot of us do criticize URL a lot, but at the end of the day, URL is like the bread and butter, bro, to all bloggers and media platforms. If it weren't for URL, the media platforms and bloggers would not be as big as they are. Right? So keep this in mind. NBS being an up and coming platform, a platform that goes to events, URL events, a platform that knows Beasley and knows people in the URL. Do you guys think that the platform NBS would put this information out there and say that the URL did this? If they wanted to continue to be able to go to events, if they wanted to be able to continue to cover the URL, if they wanted, if, if, if they wanted to build a relationship with you, do you think that in NBS Central, the platform NBS, again, keep in mind, URL is the bread and butter, bruh. Do you think that this individual platform would lie about something like this when they actually pretty much kind of need the URL? Again, keep in mind, they go to events, they do all these things. Do we think that NBS Central, the platform, would want to ruin that relationship with URL? Do we really believe? Because if NBS Central was lying about the situation, right, that would mean that he doesn't care about his relationship with URL. He doesn't care about his relationship with Beasley. He doesn't care about being able to get into events. He doesn't care about being able to do this. That, that would mean that if NBS Central was lying about the situation, that would mean that they are completely fine and okay with destroying their relationship with URL. When I spoke to NBS Central on the phone, one of the questions I asked was, how do you feel now going to the next events, going to URL events going forward? And he let me know that he did plan on going to URL events going forward. Even, even with this whole situation and controversy going on, he confirmed to me that he does plan on going to events and continuing to cover URL. So that being the case, that being the case, do we really think, bro, that NBS Central would lie about the situation, knowing how it can impact his relationship and pretty much his career, his future career, because this is what, if this is what you plan on doing, is being media for bad. You're destroying your future career and relationship with URL if he's in fact lying. This is, this is one thing that tells me, bro, that this kid is not lying about what happened. But this is also why I feel like KO from NBS is not really, is not speaking on the situation as much as he could be, as much as he should be. Because I have a feeling that NBS Central understands that. I have a feeling that they understand that and they're understanding that more and more every day. They're understanding that, okay, if we continue to speak on this, if we continue, if we provide receipts, if we provide proof, if we continue to hammer down, bro, and tell people, yo, this is true, this is true, that continues to make URL look worse and worse. That continues to ruin, further destroy his relationship with URL. This is one of the reasons that I feel like KO from NBS is not out here trying to put this information out there for the world to see, is because they understand how this could impact their relationship with URL. They go to events, bro. They want to continue to do that. 
But KO from NBS Central, if you're watching, that could be detrimental. Deciding to do that and not speak anymore on the situation and just leave it as is makes ARP look like a liar. It makes NBS Central look like liars. And it makes anybody who believed and supported them also look like liars and people that don't know what they're talking about. But here's another reason it could be detrimental, though. If we just leave it there and just let URL get away with the fact that this was done and then covered up. Here's why it's detrimental. This situation is actually a lot more important than people could even understand, right? This situation is super important for somebody like ARP specifically. Some of y'all already know, bro, that ARP and URL and RBE and them are going to court, bro. They have ongoing lawsuits and court stuff going on. If a lawyer for ARP can prove that this was in fact done, that Beasley did in fact reach out to NBS, bro. They did in fact try to bribe this man. They did in fact try to torturously interfere with ARP's business, bro. If a lawyer can prove this, while URL and RBE are going to court and going through lawsuits and going through their stuff, bro, do y'all understand how this can help ARP and how this can hurt URL? If a lawyer can go into court, right, and prove that, hey, listen, Beasley, the owner of URL, is calling other people trying to sabotage and interfere with our business and telling them not to. Bro, if it can be proved in a court that this is what's happening, it can actually potentially help an ARP and RBE as it pertains to this court and these lawsuits that they're going through, bro. This is another reason it can be detrimental to just leave this right there and just, just no longer speak on it, no longer provide proof and evidence that this really happened, all that, bro. This can be detrimental for, the, for those reasons. For one, because again, ARP and Kale from NBS end up looking like liars and end up looking like they came together to try and sabotage URL or do something crazy to URL. That's how it looks. Or it looks bad because... Now, ARP doesn't get that closure. Now, ARP, right, and his lawyers don't get that closure. They don't get that evidence and that proof. They don't get that perspective from, from you, yourself, from the person that actually received the phone call. They don't get that to prove that this actually happened. So now this kind of just becomes just another thing that's just behind us now, as opposed to this being a situation that we're actually trying to get to the bottom of and hold URL accountable for. Because this, this has to do with interfering with another man's business, bro. What happens to URL, somebody interferes with URL's business, though, is, oh, it's the end of the world. But they're interfering with ARP's business and... Nobody even wants to get to the bottom of it, bro. Like, nobody even wants to get the, to, the, to the truth. URL's compromised media campaign and public relations cleanup is working, bro. They have their media guys out there making these guys look like liars, bro. They have their media guys out there making ARP and NBS look like liars, bro. This is happening right now. And the URL needs for that to happen. They need for that to happen. They need for this to just be just sweeping under the rug, swept under the rug, whoop, swept under the rug, whoop. Because this can look really bad for URL, bro, if we were to get to the bottom of it, bro, and if we were to continue pushing this topic, bro. As of right now, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did plan on interviewing KO from NBS Central. I did plan on that for you guys. But I've been reaching out to him for the past couple of days and I haven't got a response back. And what I'm thinking is what I said earlier in this video is that NBS Central is realizing that if they go forward and continue to push this topic, 
and continue to try and prove and show receipts and stuff, that's going to further hurt their relationship with URL is what that's going to do. I'm thinking NBS is understanding that more and more. Seeing the amount of people that are out there in compromised media out there defending URL is probably making NBS Central look at the situation a little bit differently and rethinking how he's going about it. Because we got to keep in mind, again, it wasn't NBS that put this information out there in the first place. If you ask me, I don't think NBS would have put the information out there himself, period. But ARP asked and he kept it real with ARP. But if ARP did not ask NBS Central this, I highly doubt that we would know that this ever happened, which is what also tells me that the reason that NBS is not is or has not chosen to do an interview yet and tell his side is because he's thinking about the fact that this could ruin his relationship with URL, ultimately hurting his career. Because keep in mind, again, like I said earlier, the URL is our bread and butter, bro. The URL is primarily the reason that we're able to create content and speak on things and people watch. You know what I mean? So I get it, bro. I feel like NBS Central right now is probably between a rock and a hard place trying to figure out what he should do, if he should further push this, if he should further speak on it, or should he just leave it alone? That way he could potentially save his relationship with URL. Even though if you ask me, I think that the relationship has already been impacted simply because of the information that's already come out. So as far as this whole NBS and Beasley calling bro to bribe people to not, that's the status. Those are my thoughts on it as of right now, bruh. And I'm going to keep touching on this topic, bro, until we get some closure, until we get to the bottom of what's going on. URL is currently winning right now. They're winning in this situation, bro. They got their compromised media guys out there talking about, oh, URL would never, oh, uh, pff, I'll give you 250 to not blog on RBE, said no one ever by Tony Bro. You got, you got these guys putting in the work right now to help to make people forget about the situation, but also look at ARP and NBS like some liars, bro. That's that's what they're doing. They're getting this narrative out there. They're pushing it out there, bro. So that's why I even decided to make a video today because it's not like NBS is about to drop a video on it. It's not like, I don't know who's who's dropping a video on this topic of the situation right now, but I see what's going on, which is why I'm choosing to speak on it. So I need to know what y'all think, man. You already know what it is. It's your boy Dro coming at you live and direct from the battle. Boom! <laughs>